Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to make a little key fob for your keychain, maybe for Mother's Day, that's coming up soon, um, or uh, your dad's birthday, or uh, even for yourself. Uh, the other thing is uh, the, second, or the second part of the video is going to show you how to um, 3D print it and make it an STL file. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly start a part drawing here. So we're going to start a 2D sketch on, I'm going to pick the uh, XZ plane and I'm going to start a rectangle here and um, I click it and I'm going to make like a, a rectangular one where it's going to be about one inch wide by two inches tall. And you know what? I'm going to even put like a s dome like top on it. So I'm going to hit circle here and I'm going to hover until I see like a green um, dot and then uh, put that middle. And then I can use my trim tool and trim that away. Whoops. Okay. So I need to delete this dimension. So I'm going to click on it and hit delete on this one and hit delete. I'm going to use the trim tool, trim that away, trim that away, finish the sketch, extrude it, and I'm going to extrude it 0.1, so it's going to be pretty thin. Then I'm going to click on the top and start a new sketch, and I'm going to put a circle towards the top. I'm going to want it somewhat in the middle here. And um, project my geometry so I can kind of line it up a little bit. So I want the center of this. And I want that to be, where did my dimension go? There it is. I want that in the center. So if I remember right, it was half of one is 0.5. And I want this to be, so I measured my keychain earlier and it was 0.14 um, inches thick. So I'm gonna just make this 0.16 um, or maybe even 0.18. Finish that, click extrude, click on the circle. I'm going to go the opposite direction and I want it to go through all. All right, I'm going to click on the top here, start a new sketch, and I'm going to rotate it around. Okay, so this is where you can get creative. Um, you can take a line tool. Um, you can even do a spline tool and you can draw, you know, um, maybe your initials or your name on there. Or you can use the text tool and you can click on it. And you can simply just type in um, your, uh, what you'd like it to say. You can change the size of it by highlighting it and changing the size. All right, so I'm going to change it to 0.25, and then you can also change uh, the text. And there's tons of text here, right? So uh, I'm going to go with teen. Click OK. And as you can see, that looks a little bit too long, so I'm going to double click it, and I'm going to put. Rowdy Wildcats like that. There we go. Okay. I can finish the sketch. Now I clicked extrude. And if I click on the words, I can have it. You can see it extruding up if I wanted to do that. If I wanted to extrude it down through the whole thing, I can, I can do that. Kind of a warning if you're extruding down into your uh, 
um, and doing a negative, like the gaps for the, the R here will fall out. So maybe you might want to just like not take it the entire way through and do, you know, part way. In my case, I'm going to extrude it up. I'm going to extrude it, you know, maybe another 0.1. Maybe that might be too big. Maybe 0.05. This is where you can get out the dial calculator and visualize how, how big you want it. So this is part two. This is where you are going to save it as a file. So we'll hit file and then save as. And we want to make sure, you know, you put it in your Google Drive. All right, so now here's how you send it to me. Because I'll be the one, I have to throw it through my computer, through the MakerBot software. But if you would please say, hit file, save as, and then save copy as. All right, and then you can just put it on your desktop. And we want to save um, as a type of STL. So you'll see right there at the bottom it says .stl. You click on that and you hit save. So the last thing you're going to do is compose an email, um, address it to your teacher, me, attach that STL as an attachment to this email, uh, and then maybe in the email tell me what color you would like and uh, and then I'll throw it through the MakerBot software and you and I'll hit print and it'll be done. All right. Thanks. And uh, good luck kind of creating your own idea. Um, don't settle on the first one. You know, do some brainstorming and uh, come up with something awesome.